I'm a son of an army officer and an electrical engineer by background. I always had this dream in life to visit Antarctica. And my dream came true in the year 2012 when I was selected by Sir Robert Swan as part of the International Antarctic Expedition. And that was the game changing part of my life. When I came back to India, I couldn't think of anything else but doing something to save the planet and doing something for the future generation. That prompted me to leave my corporate job and I started this initiative called Global Himalayan Expedition. It's been five years now, but the first year of expedition was 2013. The association of Woodland and GHE is a very strong association because we have a lot of common interests. We started with GHE forming a e-base in Ladakh, which was to promote education among the youth there. At e-base they are doing, is they're getting exposed to experiential learning. Things like how can you upcycle material, things like how can you uh, reduce waste, how can you learn robotics, how can you tap the energy of the sun to run those uh, motors of the robotic kits. Do and what you've helped create here is something really special. And thanks so much um, for being part of this. I have three e-bases in the world and we've joined together with Global Himalayan Expeditions, my little organization 2041 and you at Woodland to put the third e-base on earth here in Ladakh and this is one of the coldest deserts on the planet. This is the place we, which we can be, be ourselves and we can do whatever we think. We can learn many things which we can able to learn in our own classes. This is the place where everything is practical. We have won various awards, including the Design for Change Award in the year 2014 and 2015. And that's been a big, big achievement for us. A small room, 14 by 20 feet, and which has won national awards is, is a great achievement. And it says a lot about the potential of the Ladakhi students and the potential of experiential education. So in the year 2014, the next, the second expedition of GHE was towards electrification of a village called Sumda Chenmo. The Nangaja latest in the Sumas, the Nangaja Sumda Chenmo, a big body in Nale. Nangaja road connect Merle, no medical facilities made, no light with Nale. The Sangaji, you look a light, the Sadi Azuk Tanzale. So was on Degana Palatine, Marco, Malaque system of Mata was real. She has an Akupura fitting choice, the Japochi Nangu, Naja Tumpa, Gatnang. The success was so huge that uh, the news spread like virus and in the next three years we didn't know we were going to electrify 48 villages and all the villages which we have done are located in the remoteness in the, of Zanskar or Ladakh Valley. None of the villages on these on the road and all of them are either located at five to six days of trek or two to three weeks of trek from the nearest motorable road. Tamana, 
ya samari otti mele ya bijil ji amana changale ko seyo dam metin ene ta dang ya ta dinna phalla ta ot ko le pasana tamana milla mana ya ngima ya yang ngime sarba cho mana kipek ke deme khore sa sa Providing energy access to these remote communities is just the first step. I think there is much more to learn from them than giving to them. We may give them technology, but we take back spirituality. I, I certainly feel that the people of Himalayas are scientifically spiritual. They know how to combine science and technology with the religion, and they believe in it. It's not only that we're bringing electricity and light here, but I think we're bringing a lot of new opportunities. Opportunities for the villagers to improve their way of life, improve their health, improve their access to education, perhaps have more tourists come here because I think up to now, we're one of the very few people that have come to this village. When you visit these villages, you have to be well prepared in terms of gear. Woodland has been a great, great partner. Over the last five years, they've stuck with us. They have believed in our philosophy and they supported us in electrification of these villages. The livelihood of these people living there was very difficult. To promote the outdoor adventure, what Woodland stands for, we thought of making homestays. This was a very good idea because a lot of trekkers and adventure people who go there, they don't find good places to stay. The concept of impact tourism means that you have to take tourism to these offbeat villages and do some kind of tangible impact for the community, something which can be felt. It could be setting up like an education center, setting up a health center, creating wireless connectivity, lighting up a village. You have to give back to the society. And why Himalayas? Because Himalayas are the most remotest part of the world and no one comes here for the reason. Well, trekkers come here, mountainous climb mountain peaks, but no one thinks about the community. If we do not act now, in the next five to 10 years, all these communities will migrate to urban areas and we'll be left with no traditional culture to share. I think it's very imperative to work on this right now and preserve this beautiful Himalayas so that at least a future generation can come here and experience the beautiful clean air, the lovely glaciers, the clean water, something which you can never experience in urban area. This is how we can all together save the planet.